From the Windows Start menu, select All Programs, BQR Fixed Dress, and then Fixed Dress. Once the program opens, select File, Create. Choose one of the next options. New Blank means New File with Standard Default. New From Template means Template File with Client Default. From CDB, General Format for BQR Software. Enter file name and select the path, then press OK. Then you see the project opened. Each project is a single file which includes all data and you don't need to collect data from other sources during calculations. This simplifies the distribution of the project file since it includes all definition, libraries, project tree and components. This enables you to run the tool in the future knowing the library is set for this project. Select the condition icon to define your prediction, the environment and the operating profile. In this screen you will be able to select the MTBF prediction model, the stress durating model. Click on the add button to create new condition. Type the condition name. Choose name that describes the condition like MTBF 25 GB. Select the prediction type, mark and prediction method. Select the environment, temperature and operating and non-operating condition according to the column type. For each condition you can define the operating time to get an average MTBF for all conditions. On the right side you can see in blue the MTBF and reliability results. At the bottom you have also special profile editors such as the IEC 62480 and FIDES. Special editors you need first to select a condition like FIDES and then select the FIDES profile editor. Click on select button. This will bring the main project tree view. From the top menu select edit and then edit global data. In the screen you can define global parameters which will affect the MTBF prediction, stress analysis and the rating. For each parameter there are a few options which you can select to fit your product which you want to analyze with this product. In the next few minutes you will see all fields. Ear means the year when the product will be first used. Since some of the prediction models such as HRD5 have a reliability growth and other models uses the learning factors so ICs which are in the market less than a year are ranked as high risk and learning factor is high. TJ based on will help you to configure junction temperature calculation of IC if your thermal simulation was done on care or ambient. We will see now the failure rate unit and the STDA method Dropbox. Library retrieving by and PDF files retrieving by options. Failure rate accuracy for more accurate reports. Fixed stress can import BOM file in few formats. Now we will show you how to add a new assembly. Select the roots or any assembly you want to add as a sub-assembly. Click on the left mouse and select Add New Block or the blue icon Add Block from the icon bar. Enter the reference designator and part number and click Apply. The new assembly will appear in the project tree. Now select the new added block Click again on the left mouse and now select Import. In the Import window you have two tabs to load a bomb and one tab to update an exist project by providing the changes to the bomb. The first option is to upload an Axel file in CSV format. The second is to upload a bomb coming from various CAD tools such as Mentor, Cadence and Orcad. Browse to the path where the bomb file is and select it. Mark which library to search component. Click Run and you will get indication of the quantity of components that were uploaded. Expand the block by clicking on the plus sign. 
we need to define all components in the library. So let's add a new component which is not exist in the library. Select the lib icon, mark the methods and click OK. Select the L icon. Now you see the library editor screen. At the bottom you can see in red the amount of uncompleted components. The second step is to define the new components by double clicking on the new line where you can see a red indication with uncompleted components. The third step is to define the component properties which are family type by double clicking on the resistors line where you can see a red indication with one uncompleted component. Add the needed parameters for the new components. Click OK. Now you will see a list of all calculations methods libraries. The tool comes with a master library. The user can create his own public library located in the company server and design library which contains the library from components in the project files. Add the needed components parameters in all selected methods at DLIB. Now all components icons exist. To help beginner users there is a wizard which can be activated and will show the steps to run the software. The tool comes with several predated reports which can be customized easily. From the top menu select Reports, Create and Standard Reports. The tool will ask you if you want to make the report from the selected block or to the top level system. Select Make Report from Root. Select the first report, MC, which is a short report with all assemblies and components. This report can be customized by clicking on the relevant option in the window. Click on Run to get the report. The report will be opened by Internet Explorer and you can browse the report. To switch to simulation mode, select the block and then click on the stress simulation icon. To help beginner users, there is a wizard which can be activated and will show the steps to run the software. Fixstress can import netlist file in few formats. Now we will show you how to add a netlist. Choose File. You see two options to import netlist mentor and CSV. Browse to the path where the netlist file is and select it. Click on the Open button. Netlist data appear on the screen. There is the component stage column which defines the state of each component pin. Fields with a dash means no need for the state. There are two types of results. The blue one which are DC results and brown fields which are ACRMS results. Each field can be sorted on the screen. For example, if we sort the blue P equals field, we'll be get the power dissipation in the Pareto view. Now we'll see the ground definition. The ground definition is needed to serve as the reference for all voltage drop calculation. Click on the global ground declaration icon. You will see the ground definition. Mark all grounds and click merge grounds. Pin library used to define IC component. Click on the pin library. Click on design. For new components press add new. Fill the exact part number. Apply. New row with the new component will appear. Mark the component and press pin table. Component pin library screen appear. Fill the power bus table below according to the datasheet. Fill in the pin numbers signal names, pin types. All other columns that need definition will be enabled as a result of above definition. Fill all required data according to the datasheet and press OK to save the component pin library. Designer can make component formats such as IBIS, Altera, etc. that FixRest can use. Click on the pin library. Choose the source file and format type. Click Translate. Fixstress generate the component to the DLIB 
and create error report in case of missing data. Click OK. You see automatically the component pin library. Fill missing data if needed. Click on the ICD icon. You will see the ICD pins definition. In this screen, you can define global parameters which all affect the MTBF prediction, stress analysis, and the rating. Check high ground net checkbox. All rows containing ground nets in field net in, net out will be hidden in the grid. The ground nets must be assigned in the ground table. Reference net means the net in, net out reference. Signal type drop down menu helps you to define recreates parameters. Let's say that constant resistors is connected to a few pins. Click on sources and loads definition and then enter signal type, source or load. All other columns that need definition will be enabled as a result of the signal type columns. Click OK. You can define signal row with the source and load column. All other columns that need to be defined will be enabled as a result of the signal type and the source of load type columns. For differential nets, use the differential signal button. Pin 1 template used for a positive signal, for example, X underscore P. Pin 2 template used for a negative signal, for example, X underscore N. Mark Override Reference Nets. Click OK. The reference nets changes according to the differential definition. Click on Default Component State icon, then click on the Stress Calculation. VSPL icon will be enabled if the calculate value isn't in the method range. Click on the VSPL icon. Each line in this dialog represents a specific power or a specific RF death. For each line, choose calculated value or library value. Remark. VSPL range problem can indicate wrong library definition. Press OK. Component frequency influence the stress analysis, so frequency parameter need to be defined. Click on the frequency icon. Each line is a dialog represents a specific frequency parameter of a specific RFDES. In the next few minutes you will see all fields. RefDES define the reference component. Internal frequency means the operational frequency. Maximum operational frequency means the operational frequency limits. Percentage of usage means what is the real working frequency in percentage. Open enable frequency parameters to be changed. Bus definition and simulation is an automatic tool that efficient the state process. Click on the bus's definition icon. Select template means that only net name with a template will be simulated. The user can choose which bus to simulate by choosing the user define option. From the select net name choose net. To simulate all bus lines check the bus number then click apply. Click OK to end bus definition. Click on bus simulation icon. Bus simulation screen appear. Choose which bus to simulate or click select all buses. Click run simulation loop. Bus simulation started. In the end click OK. DC to DC converters can be modeled by fixed stress. This feature helps to define the DC to DC converters easily. Click on the DC to DC icon. DC to DC voltage converters screen will open. All parameters needed for the DC to DC definition are shown. Select the converter type. Input net is the input for the first switch. GND net is the ground for the second switch. Output net is that defines the DC to DC connections. Switch 1, switch 2 defines the components that creates the converters. All other columns are the definition of the DC to DC.
The software is ready to start the stress calculation. Click on the total stress value icon, sigma icon. This means that the software will accumulate the result. Choose DC stress analysis mode. Click on the stress calculation. DC stress analysis. Begin. DC stress value appear according to the components and the component states. Change the DC stress analysis to AC stress analysis. Click on the stress calculation icon. AC stress analysis. Begin. Now we need to change the component state and return the calculation. Choose DC stress mode. Change component states and repeat the various steps. Stress derating is the next step. Close to the stress simulation. On the fixed stress main window, click on the STDA icon. Stress and thermal analysis window appear. Click change to change the current condition. Choose single or multiple condition. Press on run button. Stress derating is being performed. Critical issue will be pop out a message. Press OK. User can see the stress result by choosing from the drop box. Fixed stress is ready to calculate the real MTBF. In the fixed stress screen, click on MTBF prediction icon. Click change to change the current condition. Choose condition and press select. Choose single or multiple condition. Press on run button. MTBF prediction is being performed. See the results for the calculation on the MTBF and FR columns. The tool comes with several predated reports which can be customized easily. From the top menu select reports, create and standard reports. The tool will ask you if you want to make the report from the selected block or to the top level system. Select make report from root. You can change the report condition by click on change. Select the desired condition and press select. The report can be customized by clicking on the relevant options in the window. Click on run to get the report. The report will be opened by Internet Explorer and you can browse the report. After completing the stress simulation and the stress results will be the actual. The MTBF result will be lower.